jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes Now I'd like you to get yourself comfortable something I learned quite a few years ago is to be able to incorporate any background sounds that you have into your experience just in the same way as perhaps when you were asleep and Maybe background sounds, maybe uh, someone knocking on the door, or the phone ringing, or uh, you know, all kinds of things may be happening. You know, occasionally your, your dreams can incorporate that into it. This is something I have is sleep I need to go to the toilet you know my bladder is full or whatever I dream about needing to go to the toilet which is a bit weird you know but I've actually That's been part of my dream while it's going on. So yeah, it's you know our brain is able to involve out sound sounds, out sound sound, outside sounds into our experience. So it isn't something separate from us. It can be something. Because the vibrations of those sounds do connect with our own vibration. But instead of coming to a standstill, instead of coming to a stop, you know, where you become aware of it, like, what's that noise? just flows through you it can't bother you it's just something that is there just in the same way as the walls of your bedroom are there the floor is there the sea is just there. Your bed is there. It's not something that needs thinking about. And when your mind doesn't Show it. 
disturb you the way they might have done before. But you just, you kind of don't care about them. They're just there. side of a helicopter landing or something really extremely loud I just let that become part of the background sound whether it's a car going past or a plane in the sky or a helicopter going past you get a few of those train in the distance or maybe a young a young baby crying in one of the flats nearby or a cat outside in the middle of the night meowing to get in as if your ears switch off of course they're still working in different aspects they're still there in case of an emergency or you know but generally they just 
just seemed to switch off because I've studied this where I've been dozing off, drifting, and I noticed that there's a point where I can't hear anything, and then I become a bit more aware, a bit more alert, a bit more awake, and then I can hear. I sleep during the day. So, there's generally always some kind of activity going on, especially in the summer. But as you drift, as you drift, there's It's like the, your ears just close. From the inside your ears, they just seem to close. Or they just stop caring. Because remember, without your conscious mind, Participating, your ears, they don't care what they hear. It makes no difference to your ears. Whether it's the sound of Beethoven or the sound of a, of a frog farting, it doesn't matter. Your ears don't care. It's only when you're consciously awake and you're focusing on that sound that you give it some meaning, maybe add emotions, maybe find something funny that you hear when you're asleep, your ears aren't doing anything, they're just happy. If you sleep on one side, your right side or your left side, you've only got 50% of your hearing anyway. Because one ear is going to be blocked by the pillow. So when you're laying like that, the ear that isn't against the pillow probably won't be quite as, I don't know, quite as free to hear. There's a chance that if there's any wax that could move inside the ear a bit, which will block it. So you're probably not really going to hear much out that ear either. Because you can feel that, you know, when you lay on one side for maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes, and you lay on your other side, you can actually feel it in your ear. You can feel the change in each ear. sounds there are. They're also pretty much blocked up when you're asleep. If you're 
spot. Because you don't need to respond. Why do you need to respond to something that's there? Why do you need to respond to oxygen? It's there. Just try and hold your breath and you'll see that. You have to breathe. And it's not something we need to focus on. It's windy outside. I quite like it when it's windy. I love the sound of the weather and the wind. Even thunderstorms work with us men. Just love the nature. At the same time, knowing that it's outside, unable to affect you. And so when you're laying in your bed, all sounds, no matter where they are, are outside of you. Just stop caring about 
Sleep.